a Weizen from a brewery that has a slightly unique way of brewing. It's beer o'clock and today we've got a bottle of Duckstein Weizen coming in at 5.3% ABV. Now, first things first, a big shout out to the channel's number one German subscriber, Stefan Bream, for sending me this beer over with a load more of his favourite Weizens to um, review. And I say, I've never seen this one before. Uh, 400 years old, well, as a matter of fact, you see on there, it's, you know, it's got 1640 on the bottle, you know, but the brewery's been going like 400 years. They're now owned by the Carlsberg Group, I'm afraid. So some of you purists, it might put you off, you know. Uh, I know some some people don't like these big breweries buying out other breweries. But apparently they've always produced this Duckstein beer um, in a bit of a unique way. They tend to sort of um, brew it over Beechwood quite a bit. So let's open it up and give it a try. I'm expecting a lot from this, as always, with any sort of German beer. And always, with a wheat beer, you leave a bit in the bottle, like so, you lie it down flat, and you give it up, roll, quite swift sometimes, like this. And that releases all the yeast and enders that get to the bottom of the bottle, and then you can just finish off your visor. Like so. And oh my word, look at that. Now, for a Vizen, my first impressions of this is quite dark. I'm going to take a sip because it's just right on the border. Now, for a Vizen, that's quite a dark Vizen. Um, it's just dripping everywhere now. Darker than, than a lot of them. It's more of a, a cloudy sort of burnt orange. It's got a beautiful three to four finger white frothy head, which you you know you're gonna get this with Visons all the time. This beautiful head. You know, if you're getting poured a Visen anywhere in the world and it don't look like this, sling it back at them. They haven't poured it correctly. Let's get the aromas. It's a sweetness there. Bananas. Sort of more like a burnt banana to be honest. This sort of caramelised banana. A bit of sweetness. There's a hint of spice there, but not a lot. Let's dive in and give it a try. Prost, Stefan. It's another one. It's going to take about three or four sips to sort of really get the flavours of this. bitterness a banana at the minute I think it's gonna need a couple more sips just to get 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 it round the palate it's tending to be a lot more maltier 
than a lot of Visons as well. And probably it's because that is the, the darker colour of it. I'm getting banana, I'm getting hints of lemon, a little bit of coriander there. It smells though, there's a bit of spiciness there, but there isn't on the taste, believe it or not. It's very malty. Caramelised banana with a sort of a fresh lemon zest, lemoniness at the back end. The back end's a bit like a, the old lemon sherbet, you know, you see a bit tingle on your tongue, and you're getting that same sort of tingle at the back end. It's great Visen. It's refreshing, it's zingy. Um, slightly different in style, slightly different to your normal Visons as well. Um, that little bit of sort of zestiness at the back end, sort of that's the standout to me. You know, I've drunk a lot of Visons, and when you've drunk a lot of Visons, you can pick out different little traits between the two and this is definitely I've not had one but it's had this little sort of lemony zesty zing at the back end and for that reason that reason alone it it stands it out against the other visons which is a good thing because visons can be very similar to a lot of people, you know, um, I'm not going to name any any visons, but there seems to be there's some very very like good visons, some very bad visons, and a lot in the middle which are all on a sort of a, light, uh, a sort of level playing field, and this one, in my opinion, is is on the upper scale of that middle playing field, so it's on the upper scale because it's got this. It's a little bit extra there that sets it apart from the others. Very, very good example of a Vizen. The head's keeping lovely through through it as well, which is what you should expect when drinking a Vizen. It's not as gassy as a lot of other Vizens either. And you can see that on the pour. I managed to get the whole lot in the glass pretty much in sort of two two pours, you know, the, the initial pour and then the, the pour with the yeast. Whereas some of them that can really take a little while to get that ne next bit in. And you'll see that sometimes in the in the bars in Germany when they pour this, you know, sometimes it can be like five minutes before they actually manage to get the, the rest of it in, in your drink. Um, great example. As always, German beer, it doesn't really disappoint, does it? You know, um, if the Germans do anything, they do it right, they do it correctly, and they do it good. It's a four out of five for me, this. It's a four out of five. Um, fantastic Visen. See if you can get hold of a bottle. Try it, see what you think, leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up if you like the view. Hit that little bell. Get notified every time I bring out a new one. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>